I'm going to share with you a portfolio of UK dividend paying stocks that will ensure you get paid at least twice every single month. So this means that you'll be paid a minimum of 24 times a year. Tell me a job that pays you 24 times a year. Nah, didn't think so. This portfolio will ensure that cash is constantly dripping into your account. Whether you then decide to reinvest this cash back into the dividend paying stocks, which is always a good idea, or whether you decide to treat this cash as more of an income, you will still be getting cash so often with this portfolio. I'm not saying that these companies are the best companies for every investor to invest into. Mind you, there are a lot of companies here that are really, really good investments, but I just wanted to put together an assortment of companies that you could invest in, which would allow you to get paid at least twice a month. There's going to be a lot of information in this video. So if you want it all summarized in one place, then I've spent some time putting together a document and I'll link it in the description below. So feel free to download that if you want to. I've included 10 companies here, but if you don't like any of these companies, then what you could do is you could switch some out and bring new companies in. And perhaps this would even reduce the amount of investments that you needed to make. Some of these companies pay dividends once a year, some pay twice a year, and some pay quarterly. It's a real mix. So because of that, some months here we will have just two payments, so you'll get paid twice a month with this portfolio, and other months you'll be getting paid three times a month, and some months even four times a month, which means you'll be paid every single week. What are you dressed as? I'm the oh my god reaction gif. We're about to get right into it, but what I will quickly say is some of the dividend payable dates have not yet been announced for some companies. So if that's the case, what I've done is I've looked back on last year's dates and included them, as that will be a really good estimation and dates don't tend to change too much from year to year. The first thing that we're going to do is give a quick breakdown of how many times each month you will be paid with this portfolio. Hit it. This portfolio offers free payments in January. The first payment is coming from British Land. This is one of the UK's largest property development and investment companies. And this is what we call a REIT, a real estate investment trust. With this portfolio, British Land would have paid you on the 7th of January, 2022. They would pay a 3% annual dividend yield and 10.32 pence per share. And British Land pay dividends twice a year. The next January payment is coming from GSK, a global healthcare company. And they pay quarterly dividends, so four times a year, meaning you'll hear their name a few more times throughout this video. Their first payment was on the 13th of January, 2022, and their annual yield is 4.68%. They will pay 19p per share for the interim payments, and then their final payment in Q4 will be at 23 pence per share. And the final January payment comes from a steel and mining company called Evraz. They pay four times a year with their first payment having been on the 14th of January, 2022. Their annual yield comes comes in at 16.1% and they currently sit as the UK's largest dividend yield company that also features in the FTSE 100. Moving on to February. Not a lot of companies tend to pay out in February, so we've got two dividend payments in this month. The first payment in February comes from BT, a telecommunications and network provider. They pay twice a year and their interim payment is on 7th of February, 2022. Their dividend yield sits at just 1.28% and they are offering 2.31 pence per share. And just two days after this, you'll get another payment in February. And this is the final payment that you'll get in this month. This comes from British American Tobacco. They are a multinational company that manufactures and sells cigarettes based products. Their dividend yield comes in at 6.92%. They pay four times a year and they offer 53.9 pence per share. Now on to March. The first payment that you'll get paid in March is from Unilever on the 22nd of March. Unilever are a massive consumer goods company and they have brands such as Lipton, PG Tips and Dove. They make four payments across the year with a 3.84% annual dividend yield. And their price per share is 35.98 pence. And this company has a really good history of gradually increasing their dividend payments. And the final payment that you'll receive in March comes from Evraz. So we've already seen that they paid you back in January. 
but they're now back with a second payment in March. And this comes on the 30th of March. On the 7th of April, 2022, GSK will offer their investors a second dividend payment. And then Diageo will pay you just one day later on the 8th of April. And this company is the world's largest producers of spirits and beers. They pay twice a year and their dividend tends to increase over time with the annual dividend yield currently sitting at 1.94%. And they are paying 29 pence per share as an interim payment. We're now moving on to May and the weather is starting to get a little bit warmer. We're starting to become a little bit of a happier nation. The first payment in May comes on the 4th of May and will be coming from the second installment of British American Tobacco. And this will be followed by a payment from Lloyds, which is a British bank, on the 24th of May. Lloyds offer their investors payments twice a year and the dividend annual yield sits at 2.37%. The price per share for the interim payment last year came in at 0.67p per share, so it's expected to be a little bit higher this year. On the 16th of June, you will get paid your second instalment from Unilever. And on the 24th of June, Evraz are back with their third instalment. Moving swiftly to July, this is a good month for anyone holding this portfolio. You will be getting free dividend payments. The first payment that you'll be getting is on the 2nd of July, and this will be coming from Tesco, a very, very popular supermarket. They will pay you twice a year with a dividend annual yield of 3.05%. They are offering 3.2 pence per share and their final payment will be higher than their interim payment. Just five days later, GSK will be back to pay you their third instalment. And finally in July, you will be paid by another big supermarket, Sainsbury's, and this will come on the 15th of July. They will pay you twice a year with a dividend yield of 3.58%. And they're currently offering 3.2 pence per share. And moving on to the end of the summer, we're now in August and the first payment will come from British Land. This will come around the 5th of August and will be the second instalment from this company. Next in August, we have the third instalment from British American Tobacco and this will happen on the 17th. Moving on to September, this is the month that we have four payments. So during September, with this portfolio, you will get paid four times in one month. So that equates to an average of once a week. That's nuts. And the first payment comes on the first day of the month. And this is from Unilever and is their third installment. Then you'll get paid just one day later. And this will be from Evraz. And this is their final installment of the year. Following this on the 5th of September, you will get paid the final installment from BT. In 2021, BT paid their investors about 10 pence per share for their final payment. But I expect this to be a little bit lower in 2022 as BT have cut their dividends. And finally, in September, you will be paid from Lloyd's on the 13th. And as this is their final payout, this payment will be higher than their interim. Now we're moving on to October and the weather is starting to turn on us again. The first payment will come from GSK on the 6th of October and this is their final payout. And just one day after on the 7th, Diageo will pay their final payout. And like I keep saying, their final payout will also be higher than their interim payment. We're starting to approach the end now and this is the sort of time of the year where everyone freaks out and spends loads of money in preparation for Christmas. So it's these payments here that you probably really want. British American Tobacco will pay their final payment on the 10th of November. And on the 21st of November, Tesco will be paying you their final payment. On December the 9th, Unilever will be paying their final payment. And finally, on the 16th of December, Sainsbury's will be the last one to pay their final payment. As I've said, some of these payments have not yet been announced. So some of the dates that you saw will change slightly, but they won't change by very much, I doubt. There was a lot of information there. So like I've said, I've put together a table and I've linked it in the description below. Let me know if you hold any of the stocks that I've spoken about today. And if you want to know which companies are the UK's highest dividend paying companies that feature in the FTSE 100, check this video out here.